Hi, welcome to the video. I'm Paul Crow, and we're here on spiceupyourblog.com and we're going to look at, in this video, setting up a custom domain for your blog on blogger.com. And when you first set up your blog on blogger, you basically pick a domain that will be what's called a subdomain and it turns out to be your blog dot blogspot dot com so it's what you choose and then dot blogspot dot com but you also have the option to set up what's called a custom domain in which you would have your blog dot com so you're losing the dot blogspot part okay now in the last post here you can see why not getting a custom domain for your blogger blog is stupid and I purposely used a kind of a strong title I suppose with stupid in it because in the post, I explain some of the big advantages of getting a custom domain and using a custom domain on your blog. And also, getting a custom domain only costs $10 per year. So you get a full year of $10 and you have your custom domain. And in the post, I actually worked it out that that's $0.83 cent per month or less than $0.03 cent per day. So basically, all you're paying, everything is free, and all you're paying is less than $0.03 cent a day. So it makes perfect sense to go and get yourself a custom domain and have a more recognizable blog for that reason. But in this video, we basically want to look at how to set it up and how buying the domain name directly through Blogger and how easy that is. And you can do it directly from your dashboard. So I have the dashboard open here with just a test blog in it. And you will have your own blog here. And all you're doing is you're clicking Settings. And then in the sub menu of your settings, you will see Publishing. Once you click Publishing, you'll see here you're publishing on blogspot.com. Switch to a custom domain which we're going to click custom domain and in here you basically get to choose the, the domain that you want to use so you type in the domain name you want here and over here you can pick between .com, .net, .org, .info, .biz you can pick through a couple of different look things there and check the availability and that's the thing is, is so many .coms are gone that there's a chance that the domain you want might not be available but you can just find you can find one that is available in the suit your blog so this blog is just called test blog 129 so just for the sake of this video we'll just put that in test blog 129 i'm pretty certain that's going to be available and check availability as uh, so it tells me test blog 129 is available now if it wasn't available it would actually give me a few options as to similar domain names or i could just search for something totally different so we see our details here one year's domain registration is ten dollars and so on so all we do is click continue to registration and on this page you need to fill out um, all your different details and um, so you basically just name address and so on this is uh, the Google Apps part and the way your domain name is set up is it's set up through Google Apps and you pay through Google checkout um, so it's all Google services so it's all contained within your Google account so fill out all your details I'm going to just skip past my details as they're all there Okay, so I've skipped down past all my details. Don't want to be showing them on a video or, or, or online. Um, so basically, we come down to kind of the, the terms of service. And one of the things you can see here is Google register. Google will register your domain with GoDaddy.com. And basically, what happens here is Google isn't a domain register. So what they do is they they register the domain or host the domain on an outside site. But you don't have to worry about any of that. Basically, just click. I've read the GoDaddy Universal Terms of Services and automatically renew my domain registration every year which makes sense to that at the end of the year it'll be registered again for next year and they will take another ten dollars out of your google account and we scroll down we're happy with all the details and i accept proceed to google checkout okay so once we do that we come on to google checkout now if you don't already have a google checkout account you can just connect that with your with your google account that's basically the email that you log into blogger with so it's all connected everything is connected together um, and you can see here domain registration of testblog129.com one year registration ten dollars subtotal ten dollars um, there can be taxes and so on it might go up to eleven dollars or something like that but it won't be too much and sign in to complete this purchase with your google account and basically you have your your email and then you type in your password and sign in and once you get into google checkout you will have to register a card there but you're basically just paying the card details you're dealing with google you know you're safe and just confirm and once you do that you will be brought back to your dashboard and you will be told that the purchase has been complete and then it takes usually about 10 15 minutes and within 10 15 minutes google do absolutely everything and within 10 15 minutes your custom domain will be connected to your blog and 
what happens here is where you had let's say myblog.blogspot.com and that will now be myblog.com but also all the posts that you have from the past all those URLs to those posts will all automatically redirect to the new URLs so that all everything will be redirected to your new domain so you don't have to worry about absolutely anything you just follow through these steps set up the domain and everything is looked after all the redirects are looked after and that's it it will take 10-15 minutes before it's connected through and then in future when somebody goes in and types in your old domain they'll be automatically sent to the new one and you're done and that's the video and it really is a straightforward process buying directly through blogger is most definitely the way to go i wouldn't buy from a different registrar and try and connect it myself and um, especially for a newbie it can be quite hard um so just go in pay 10 bucks it's only 10 dollars and you have a nice um custom domain on your blog so thanks for watching the video